All right, we got Hunter Collins here. Some new deck he wants to show off. It's called Ghost Tricks or something. All right, yeah. go ahead and show it off whenever. Uh, I don't know. I've been on YouTube for a while. I don't really do a channel anymore. Like, just too much work. And like, I have to focus on school. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> here's the deck profile. Uh, you got three uh J Mama. You got three uh Fergie Sign. Um, the J um searches out. Like other ghost tricks equal the number of ghost tricks you have. So like if you just have three, you have to search out level one. And if you have like two, you search out two. And then that's it goes on. Uh, Fergie Stein, he uh, when he does direct damage, you search out a ghost trick smaller trap card. <clears throat> and then you play three witch. Uh, so like if you flip summon one, you search. You can normal summon her and flip one face down. So then your field spell is active, and then you can uh, attack directly. Like family, I one monster. And then you got this dude. <laughs> I don't even know what he, where he's at. <clears throat> but he's really good because, uh, let's say, you need a ghost trick face up on the field to like get going, and you need a ghost trick if, uh, at your turn, and your opponent destroys yours, and especially summon him face down, he gets to draw a card, so it just replaces itself. And then you got <clears throat> three of this dude. He, the lantern. Uh, there's an infinite combo. Uh, with this and Vanny's Emptiness, but he basically can save you for a turn. And it's another ghost trick to put on the field, so when you want to search, uh, it's another another one to search. He played two tour guide uh, for the X-Seed. Um, yeah, I'll get there one, show that off. And then, that's it for Monsters. I play three Duality, because <clears throat> it's like a lot, you want to see a first turn, and then you have to take time to set up. So... Uh, duality is really good, and you don't really special summon a lot in your in your turn, so three duality is fine. Uh, this is probably the best card in the deck. <clears throat> it puts all your opponent, it locks them down for two turns, and you constantly filtering the monster they just summon face down. We'll just keep it, so that's good. And then the field spell, the one of the key cards to winning, it lets you attack directly and get your uh, free searches off for this time. And then I play. One Booker Moon, because everything goes face down, so I not play Booker, it's really good. One Terraforming, because you have to see this. And then with uh, how this format is, well, a lot of the top decks are playing field spells, so this kind of puts you up in the field spell war. <coughs> and that's it for spells. No MSC is the main board, they're on the side. Uh, three uh, Ghost Trick Scare, um, the key trap card of the deck. It really just uh, put, it puts all your... If I have one ghost, one face down ghost trick monster, and then he has one monster, uh, I can activate this and it flips my face up, and then I select one of his to go face down. So again, with that, with the sword, and then the field spell, yeah, it lets you combo off. <coughs> Two vanities emptiness, uh, really strong, and then the reason I main board it is because it has the combo, again with lantern, you can just uh, reveal on every attack your opponent when he attacks you directly. You can just reveal this and you take zero damage because you can't special summon it. <coughs> yeah. And then two mirror force. Uh, Tony just want that extra protection and then just they can board wipe. Uh, one ghost trick. Uh, vanish. It's kind of like the lance, kind of. One bottomless, one compulse, one warning, and the one needle ceiling. Because all your stuff sets and your opponent's face up, like you can just board wipe. And then the extra deck, I just have these right now. But <clears throat> really, the deck is fun. Uh, it takes time to set up. But when it gets set up and it's still, like, it gets going, it's a lot of fun, and then you just have control of the game. And for um, for any of those people like testing it out there, is there any particular reason you didn't run Ghoul or any of that, or why you um, chose what you did? Well, I've been talking to a couple friends from New York about the deck. And Ghoul, it's like, it just, it doesn't do anything by itself. Like, it just, it right. pumps, and then you attack. But, like, the, the ghost tricks we're playing in it right now, every one of them, like, have a purpose. Like, this saves you, this uh, replaces the ghost trick, this puts it face down, and then these are your searchers. So, like, Ghoul, like, if you want to play it, it'd be a good one of, but, like, you just, you maybe take out one of these. But this is a key part because you want to put yourself, your opponent's stuff face down. So right. that's really why we decided not to play Ghoul. But. Alright.
Um, anything else you want to say about it? Yeah. Um, try it out, you know. Uh, it's not that bad. Like, it really has an even matchup with everything. It just depends how you see it. And you just have to play slow with it at first. For sure. Alrighty, Hunter Collins, everybody. Thanks for watching.